So guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're actually in a different country. Probably guessed that from the surroundings and the little noises from the insect and that. Uh, yeah, basically, we're going to take the drone up here. Just going to have a little nosy round, see what we can see. Uh, and just over there, somewhere, is famous TV set. Uh, and when we take the drone up, you'll you'll probably see what we're talking about. Stop. Home point updated. Now there it is. I think you all know what that is now, don't you? I'm not sure if I can actually hear people. Or not. I think I can hear shouting from people up there. But I want to figure out where exactly we are first. So we know we don't really want to be alerting security or nothing like that. Different to the UK. Uh, we're going to go as high as we can. To keep the noise down. Max altitude reached. It's a bit more of a stealth flight this one. We don't really want to be alerting anybody that we're here. Not that kind of uh, not that kind of video really. Just want to look at the surrounding countryside to this place. I mean look at it. It's beautiful. And the road just follows there. There it is. This here is like a bit of a hill from where I am. There it is. Or is that it there? No, I think it's that one there. From what I remember looking on the map, it's that one there. Because slightly further up, up there, you've got like this area, I think, presumably, yeah, that's going to be all the stuff, right? And we do want to have a look at that. We're going to stay far away for now. We may well come back a second day as well. I'm trying not to fly too fast because it's more noisy. It's very quiet out here. That's a stuffed car park for Love Island, guys. I can hear people up there somewhere from where I am. Lorry taking delivery somewhere, probably to the house. Now obviously if this was in the UK, I'd be right over there now. Uh, and I may well do it another day, but for now, I just want to get a feel for the, for the area. I did pass a security guard on the, on the entrance to the little lane going up to the house. That was a security guard and he got straight on the radio when I drove past. So the last thing we want is for them to be coming over down here and questioning it 
we just say we're flying, we're doing some scenery vlogging. We don't, we didn't even know the house was there, but it's a different country, so you've got to respect that. But yeah, there's a the staff car park. Not a lot to see there, really. And then that over there is obviously the main house, the villa. So what we'll do, we'll go around this way. Um, we're still pretty much over the road, I believe. Yeah, there it is behind us. There's probably a perimeter fence somewhere up there. It might be that. No, it comes down a bit further than that, maybe. Hmm, not entirely sure, but I can see a little fence from where I am standing, so. Still got 25 satellites connected, so we are safe. There's no chance of anything disconnecting itself. And as I say, this particular flight, we're just gonna get a little feel for the area. Probably come back another day and do more. But I think I could hear them because they're right there. Just about make people out by the pool, right? The people being filmed right now on TV. <laughs> it's a bit crazy that. I don't really want to go close enough so they can hear the drone because once they hear it, it, it will be reported and then a second day they might not, you know, I don't know, they might they might put more cars around looking around, so we'll keep we'll keep away for now. But yeah, there it is. Love Island Villa. And it is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. That road there goes down to a junction and I think that's where I saw the security guard up there. Just one security guard and a car, just on the corner. But yeah, look at the surrounding area, it's lovely. And here's the road we're on, right here. From where I am now, can't be anything else, can it? Take it off 4K. See how far we can zoom in with, see how far we can zoom in with 1080p. A bit more. Definitely hear people down there somewhere. That second villa there, look. I'm not sure if that was Casa or more or not. But 
a Love Island sign they've got going. I think that's Castle and Moor, surely. It's not a mile down the road at all, is it? <laughs> Next door. <laughs> I swear they said it's a mile down the road. Right there. Pretty sure that's the right one, isn't it? Could be wrong, could be something else. There are people still out and about, I think, so drone hasn't been uh, heard. Max altitude reached. See, so if it's a little bit more windy, you could go closer without too much noise. There it is, there's the love uh, little hearts. I'm quite concerned about the noise because even though we're 120 meters, you can still hear it. And it just takes one person down there. To notice. There's all the food stores, no doubt. But we'll fly over the house as we, as we leave. We're in sport mode and we're going to come back down. So thanks for watching this flight guys. Probably going to catch up with you on a second flight another day. So we believe this is Casa or more, don't we here? Yep. Has to be with the heart shape, right? Just looks like a normal villa from the outside, doesn't it? Crazy. And look at all the uh, solar panels they've got here. It's a little bit windier today, so the chances are it's going to be a little bit easier for them not to hear it.
Well, I haven't been watching Love Island, so anybody anybody watching will know who they are probably there, but I haven't got a clue. There's the uh, eviction area, isn't it? There is the front of the house. There it is, the infamous uh, seat. Somebody walking across. What's that room there? See, I don't really watch this, so I don't really know what's what, to be honest with you. There's the house, there's the chilling areas. Now let's go and take a look at the stuff areas. Look at all these makeshift houses they've got up and accommodation or whatever it's for. Offices, presumably. Not many people out and about, is it? Now there is a guard in this garden. Or was, I've seen him sat there when I drove along the road. probably want to avoid him although there probably are people sat all around just can't see very easily from here I don't think they know do they which is a good thing we don't want to be too low or anything like that just want to be nosy and have a good look We are going to bring the drone back in a moment.
The chances are the housemates may well hear the drone and, and think it's, uh, you know, the TV doing it or whatever. There it is. Close up. Unless he noticed the drone, this one. Yeah, don't think so. What a beautiful area. Oh, we're going to leave in a second. We've got the footage. Somebody's gone out for snaps, haven't they? He is going in, this guy. So this is the way that you'd come in, I believe. They've been called in for something, haven't they? Yeah, they've spotted the drone now. 